Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me for day two of the Newton's May release, kind of a sneak peek reveal. Today we are revealing a new stencil that's going to be available on Friday the 22nd. This is called the Butterfly Stencil Set and it's a two-piece set. It's layerable and it creates a beautiful background for your card making projects. Um, also new, coming soon to the shop, is the Monarch butterfly stamp set. It's a 4x4 four four stamp set. Um, it has three beautiful butterflies on there and three little itty bitty silhouettes with some beautiful sentiments. Um, there's a buildable one that says fluttering by and then you can add uh, with a happy hello to say thank you or with a birthday wish. There's coordinating dies you can see here. And um, there's one more sentiment that says wishing you a beautiful day. I love that sentiment. I wish you a beautiful day. <laughs> so we're going to make a beautiful monarch butterfly card today. I loved the large image and I thought we would color that in three times. So I have a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock and my Misty here. Um, I'm going to stamp with my um, Vers Versafine Onyx Black ink. I might as well stamp the first part of my sentiment that says fluttering by um, while I'm at it. Um, I was going to stamp the second part and said well I'll just stamp the first part. Second part will probably heat and boss. So I'll just ink up my butterfly. I'm using Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock because we're going to use a Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I haven't used them in a very long time, so I thought we would create a bold butterfly with these colors. We're just going to ink up our butterfly, stamp our sentiment. I'm going to have to do it a couple times. There is some solid areas on here. And at first, you would think this would be a little bit difficult to um, color in, but you know what, guys? It's super easy to color in this guy. I'm going to flip my page over, and then we're going to stamp the butterfly a couple more times. Once all of our butterflies are stamped, um, we're going to do some heat embossing. When I use my zig markers, I like to um, create a well or a barrier with my embossing powder. And so I'm going to go over my images with clear embossing powder. Just tapping off the excess here. I'm going to use my heat gun and melt it till it's all melted and it's ready to go. Okay, after this is melted, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to play a little bit of music while I color my butterflies, which are super easy. Actually, I'm not even going to play music. Um, I'm just using three markers. I'm using my red, my orange, and my yellow. I have a 24-piece uh, set. And so, um, originally, I was going to use my water brush. For my first one here, I did. Um, but really, guys, you don't need it. If you want a bold, bold butterfly, don't use your water brush. I mean, it blended beautifully together, but you, but it, um, my red turned into pink, and I didn't want that to happen. So with these two, I am just going to blend with the markers. So I added my red, added my orange, and then last, I'm going to pull it all together with my yellow. And I, you can see the bold, more bold color um, of these two versus my first one where I used my water brush. So there's my images, super pretty and super easy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dry these butterflies. I'm actually going to, you can see where it turned pink. My red zig marker turned pink. After it was dry, I'm going to go just do a redo like I did the last two. Add my red, add my orange, and then brighten it up with the yellow. Quick and easy fix. But aren't they so pretty? So easy to color. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have the coordinating die set, so I just separate them. I'm going to die cut out all three of my butterflies, and then using my paper trimmer, I'm going to go ahead and um, block off my sentiment that says fluttering by, and so everything is ready to go. There they are. Um, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add some small foam adhesive squares behind the, the spine of my butterfly. I like to fluff up, um, fluff up the wings of my butterfly, so adhesive in the middle is perfect. Okay, I'm not going to use the stencil backgrounds for my card today, but I want to share with you how pretty these are. So these are labeled um, stencil number one, stencil number two. I'm using stencil number one. I already adhered my pixie spray behind it, and I adhered it to a panel that's a card front size. And then I wanted to create a gradient on each of the butterflies. So at the very top of the butterfly wings, I'm adding my Distress Oxide ink and candied apple. 
um, once I have all the butterflies or the wings of the butterflies on the very top colored in, I'm going to go over the bottom portion with my uh, squeeze lemonade. And then these are going to blend together going from red to yellow. It's going to create an orange in the middle. You can see here. Actually, the, my red looks a little bit orange. Candied apple does have an orange tint to it. But um, if you have a darker red, I think it would look pretty. But I still like the outcome here. <laughs> Okay, so there's what they look like. Now I'm going to take my stencil number two. This is the Butterfly's number two stencil. And it's so easy to line up, guys. Easy peasy. I mean, um, I had, when, when I originally I had put the my first stencil upside down. So this stencil has to be upside down too. <laughs> I'm going to layer it on top. And again, I have Pixie Spray behind this one too. I'm going to press down. And I was a little bit hesitant about using my black Distress Oxide ink, the black soot. I was afraid I was going to ruin my butterflies, but I went for it. I'm just going to use my little finger dauber and go over the detailed areas with my black soot ink. Once it was covered, we get to do the reveal and I loved it. It's something a little different and neat. Um, I cleaned off my stencils with soap and water added more pixie spray behind it and then we're going to do it again but this time we're going to flip flop the colors so on our number one stencil i'm going to add my black soot ink to the most solid image just going to fill it all in and then after we have the black soot adhered i'm going to go ahead and add my stencil number two right over the top this time i placed it right side up <laughs> it's easy to layer over the top and then I'm going to basically do the same thing as I did for my first panel, but with the yellow and the red, um, kind of making a two-tone pattern on the very front. Now, if you wanted to take your glitter paste and go over the top, I think that would be gorgeous. If you wanted to use um, your white paste to go over the top, I think that would add texture and look really pretty too. But this looks nice. It's just not as bold as I thought it would be. It does... Um, pick up the colors just vaguely. Oxide ink um, does sit on top of, of each other so you can see here it's very faint but a couple different little options using the stencil I want to share with you. I'm not going to use my backgrounds today for my card but I wanted to share with you how they look and how pretty they are. <laughs> okay we're going to set these aside and we are going to work on our card. I'm bringing in some white and black cardstock, and we're going to use the circle frames die set. I'm going to use a small scallop circle, cut out a white scallop circle, and then a, a smaller stitched black circle to fit inside of my scallop circle here. We're going to go ahead and stamp the rest of our sentiment. For this card, I chose with a happy hello. I think that's so pretty. I just went ahead and um, heat embossed it with white embossing powder and went ahead and melted it and then tacked it down um, or layered it on my scallop panel there. Kind of skipped that part, but embossing is embossing. <laughs> I'm going to fishtail the end of my sentiment here, just the right side. I'm going to go ahead and add foam adhesive behind the first part of my sentiment. We're going to add that just above our, our embossed sentiment here. So our sentiment will say fluttering by with a happy hello. I think that's so pretty. Okay, originally I was I have my card base behind here, and originally I was going to place a, my butterflies on my card base, but I wanted a little extra something, so I'm bringing in a, the die set, the framework die set. I'm going to use the largest die from it. It has a postage edge, and I just thought it'd add a little extra detail along this border of my card. I die cut that out with white cardstock. We're going to add our sentiment, and then also. Um, we're going to pop up our sentiment first. Kind of place that on there. I had already adhered my background to my card base. So it's ready to go. And then um, now we can go ahead and add our butterflies. Basically in the same place that, that I had did earlier. Um, I like to put the, the wings of the butterfly color covering the straight edge of my first fluttering by sentiment. Just kind of covers up that straight edge. Kind of flows a little bit nicer. I have some black and white. Um, gingham ribbon. I'm just going to tie it around the base of my card and then we're going to tie a bow off to the left. I think the ribbon goes perfect with the dots on the monarchs. I just think it looks just 
coordinates beautifully. Or that, if you guys don't have gingham ribbon, you could use a black and white polka dot ribbon. I think that would look fabulous too. Okay, we're gonna add some sparkle to the wings of the butterfly. We're gonna do that after we add sequins. <laughs> I have some clear sequins. We're just gonna add a few here and there. And I think I added a little too many, so I'm gonna remove some. <laughs> Sometimes I go overboard. I'm gonna add doubled up on that one. But I think that looks pretty and just the right amount of pizzazz. And then using my aqua shimmer pen, we're gonna add some sparkle to the wings of the butterfly. And you wanna be careful when you use your shimmer pen because it does move the watercolor ink underneath it. I wanted that bold to be um, yellow to be bold, so I was careful to go over that. But that is my project for today using the brand new uh, Monarch stamp set over at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. And there is a chance to win this set, guys. Uh, details for that are over on my blog if you want to check it out, or it's over on the Newton's Nook Design blog. But I hope you enjoyed my project. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye bye.